All right, so as you can see, we made a little grocery run today and we figured today would be the perfect time to take you through what a typical grocery run looks like for us and how it pertains to our goals, our workouts, and et cetera. So Toya, take us through the groceries. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're gonna start with our produce. So when it comes to the fruits and vegetables, we really like to get things that we can do multiple things with. So for example, the romaine hearts, we can use the leaves as lettuce boats. We can chop it up and make a salad. We have some broccoli for our stir fry, but also we can throw this in a pasta. Of course, avocados and lemons over here. You can always need some garlic for everything. Um, and then some peppers, bok choy, mushroom. We're gonna put this in some some pastas, we're gonna throw that in some stir fries, and we're doing a one pan meal tonight, so that'll be perfect for that as well. And then for fruits, we have some bananas, which are over there. Um, we always get bananas because we throw those in our smoothies almost every day, and then for the rest of the fruits, we just kind of grab whatever looks good, whatever we're craving. Today, that was strawberries and blueberries. All right, so next, moving on to our protein. We're always preaching to get in enough protein, center your meals around your protein, so we're gonna show you some of the things that we like to utilize. So first, we have these chicken sauce sausages, the sweet Italian, and then breakfast chicken sausages. These are great because we can have them as a snack. We can chop them up and I like to throw them in some rice with some veggies as a bowl, um, throw them in a one pan meal, or just have them just as a snack if you need some protein. And then same with these chicken breasts. If you follow us on our Instagram or our app stories, Juice loves to marinate these and then cook them in bulk and then chop them up. Then you have some ready-made protein to have as a snack throw it in a quesadilla, throw it in a salad, however you wanna have the chicken breast. And then, of course, we've got some turkey, some salmon, some other fish over here, shrimp, branzino, that you can do all kinds of meals with, and then eggs. Gotta Love have eggs. eggs. Gotta have your eggs. All right, and then we're moving on to some miscellaneous things. The um, fun stuff. The fun stuff. So, first of all, Bonza. We love this brand. Um, made out of chickpeas. So we've got pasta and spaghetti here. Um, and then also we have chickpea rice. So this is for Juice. This is for Toya. I can't have um, rice grains. So if you can have rice, Juice loves to throw these in bowls for Taco Tuesday night, or you can have them as a side with some of the proteins we mentioned. And I like having this bonza rice. It's made of chickpeas um, and tastes like rice to me. And it's really saved me because I love rice, but I can't have it, so this comes in handy. All right, and then we needed some more seasonings. These are just some of our basic staples. We have a video on our app on some of the seasonings that we love and how we like to use them. And then taco seasoning, tomorrow's Taco Tuesday night, so that's getting used. And then, to some more fun stuff, I have a sweet tooth, if you didn't already know. Trufu has become one of my favorite obsessions lately. I like these because it's it's definitely sweet, but a little bit goes a long way. I can have like three or four of these at night after dinner and it really satisfies my sweet tooth. You don't need a lot of it. So these are white chocolate and milk chocolate covered raspberries, but they have all kinds of different chocolate covered fruits. So if you have a sweet tooth, check out Trufu. And then Olipop and Poppy, both prebiotic sodas, we love them. These are some of our favorite flavors of these two. Definitely a good thing for a sweet tooth. Cocoa Whip, Woo. another good thing for a sweet tooth. I'll have these on top of berries, so like the strawberries or blueberries. Um, I'll put them on top of chocolate rice cakes with hummus. I'll put it in my coffee. I love Cocoa Whip. Also with the chocolate rice cakes, I'll have some peanut butter on this. I love rice cakes in general. A lot you can do with these. These are for juice. I'm not, I don't, I'll eat them. I don't you know, love them, but he loves them. It's nothing, you know? Yeah, he likes to have them with this actually. Oh my gosh, listen, if you haven't tried this from Trader Joe's, vegan buffalo dip, uh, it's amazing. I'm just keep it at that. And then Siete chips, we love these. These are great wow, for tortilla crazy. chips. They were buy one, get one free today at Sprouts. Wow. Wow. So, stocked up on those. And then we love these almond flour um, tortillas. I've never been a fan of burritos or thick tortillas. So, I like these because they're thin and crispy. So, we can make um, like quesadillas with them and all types of different things, different wraps, whatever. Love these. Last thing, we always like to keep some fresh flowers. Tulips were my mom's favorite flowers. So, I like having those when they're in season. And purple because 
Go Lakers. All right, so that's pretty much an overview of the staples that we get. Pretty much from week to week, this is what it looks like, our produce, our proteins. Some of the staples, like I probably won't need to get Siete chips for a while. The staples we usually keep around, but produce and protein wise, this is what it usually looks like each week. So we're gonna put this away and then we're gonna give you guys a few tips on things that we like to do to stay on our nutrition throughout the week and keep it on track. Um, but first, tip number one, <laughs> Never go to the grocery store hungry. There she goes. I didn't expect this to go as late into the afternoon as it did, so. What? Okay. I'm a little hungry. Um, want one? Bite it. And that's what the inside looks like. It's literally a raspberry with white chocolate and then chocolate. I mean, they're so good. Don't go to the grocery store hungry. That's tip number one. Don't do it. Let's put the groceries away before I eat them all. So the next tip that we have is to plan out your meals as much as you can. So one thing that we love to do throughout the week that helps us stay organized is to write out all of our meals for the week. So we got some salmon one pan meal today. We have a taco Tuesday and so on. So planning your meals just makes it a lot easier for you to stay on track. You know what you're eating and specifically these are our dinners. This is when it kind of gets away from us throughout the day. If we don't have our dinners planned, we either wait to the last minute and then we end up ordering or making a bad decision. So have your meals planned out, that way you know what you're eating. And it's kind of like, you know, back in elementary school, you know, when you had the, the lunch schedule for the week, you know what's coming up and it kind of gives you something to look forward to as well. So write out your meals. All right, the next tip we have is to write out your grocery list. So now that you have your meals written out for the week, you can write out your grocery list knowing that you know exactly what you need when you go into the grocery store. So this is gonna prevent you from buying the things that you don't need. If you go by the cookie aisle, you're gonna know that that's not on your list or for your meals for the week. So it'll keep you on track and keep you honest and accountable when you go into the grocery store. All right, for the last tip, when you have all the groceries in, you have them nailed down. Now this is the best part where you can start prepping your foods as much as you can. So today I have a little bit of time and this is gonna save you some time for when you don't have time. So today I'm gonna to prep some chicken breasts. I like to prep them in bulk. That way when I cook them through, we can make multiple different meals out of the chicken breasts. We can make salads, we can make bowls, pastas, whatever we need throughout the week. We already have some proteins prepped in the fridge and we can just pull from that. Same thing with your meals. If you wanna prep whole meals for the day, so like for later today, we're gonna to make a one pan meal. I can easily prep that right now, throw it in the fridge and then when we're ready to eat, when we're done working for the day, we can pop that in the oven and we're good to go. So prep your foods as much as you can. It's gonna save you a lot of time from when you don't have time later in the week. All right, everyone. So that kind of wraps up what a regular grocery haul looks like for us. Mm -hmm. And also a few tips on things that help us stay consistent with our nutrition throughout the week. For sure. Hopefully some of those tips will help you and you can implement them to help you stay consistent as well. Oh yeah, if you wanna see some of the recipes and the foods that we like to make, be sure to check out the Juice and Toya app. We have more recipes, we have some nutritional information we have a nutrition guide if you need some guidance on how to make nutrition work for you we have that available in our app as well so definitely go check it out we'll link that down in the description and that way you have all the information you need and we also have other workouts and other content on there as well so don't miss out on that again it's down in the description but uh, we got to get after this leg day and Woo! we need to eat something real quick yes. so uh thank you for joining us and we'll see you at the next see one. you all at the next one